Today's video is very kindly sponsored by Squarespace. Oh my god, it is freezing. But good morning guys, it is Vlogmas Day 2, it is currently the 2nd of December for me, but this is going to go up on the 3rd of December, so if you missed the last Vlogmas, first of all I will link it down below if you want to go and watch it, but I did mention that I'm basically going to be doing every other day, so there will be a video every other day for you guys, whether it's a haul video, a vlog, um, a little Christmas challenge or something like that, a gift guide type video, I want to do a load of them this month, that is what you can expect from my channel, so if you want to hit subscribe and stick around for all of that over this month, then please feel free to to do so i'm really sorry i'm starting this vlog off on my phone i basically just left my camera inside and there's borders everywhere there's plasters in today like there's a lot going on so i thought i would just start on my phone and then obviously we can switch the camera when i get back home but i'm in the car bright and early this morning well i say that it's 10 past 9 which i know is not bright and early to a lot of people out there but if you guys have been following me recently you'll know that i've been really struggling with my sleep like so badly um i'm a night owl and i get like most of my work done probably between the hours of like midnight and 3 a.m which is a really bad habit that I got so badly into like I didn't think I was gonna get out of it but recently I've been waking up at 20 past 8 like every single day kind of without trying so I'm happy with that and I'm just gonna keep rolling with it the thing that I'm finding is helping me most is getting out and going and working out I'm really trying to make this more of a habit again I completely fell out of love with like any sort of fitness like I just got so lazy being honest I really feel with like fitness and working out especially you have to love it like you have to enjoy it and I just didn't for the longest time so I kind of just let myself get a bit lazy but I'm bored of it now like I want to feel good again I want to feel fit I want to feel healthy and that's what I'm sorting out so yeah I'm off to work out this morning I've actually been using mum's Peloton which is so good I know they're quite expensive so I'm glad mum got it first so I can test it out to see if I actually want one at home but yeah they're really good like I did not ever think that I would enjoy cycling in any way like at all you guys probably know that my favorite form of fitness or like working out is body combat because it's just like full body it's good for your cardio but it also makes you feel really strong because you're like punching and kicking and all that stuff but yeah I'm really enjoying cycling <laughs> which is so bizarre um but I think it's just something a bit different that I'm trying and for as long as I'm enjoying it I'm just going to keep myself going so that is where I'm headed off to this morning. I'm gonna go work out, come back, probably check on what's happening with the fireplace. I can update you guys a bit today because I feel like there's gonna be quite a lot of progress made actually. Matt said yesterday that we're nearly done, which is kind of crazy because it's been like three days. Um, and then I'm gonna plan a gift guide video. I think I wanna do like a gift guide for her, gift guide for him, um, gift guide for your friends maybe. So I'm gonna plan that when I get home so I can just get on and film it tomorrow so I know what I wanna show you guys and things. Um, and I feel like that is all I can think of that I need to do today. I'll see you at mum and dad's and I can show you guys the peloton in case you're interested. If you're not, then I get it. <laughs> Bonnie always knows when I'm on my way. It's like she has a sixth sense because she sits on the sofa and waits and then gets crazy excited <laughs> every time I pull up. Like she knows my car now. She doesn't even realise it's me because she sees me. She literally knows my car. If I was anyone else right now, she'd just be barking and going crazy, but she knows it's me. Right, I've got my workout buddy with me who has an obsession with socks, so excuse that situation. Um, she's also very, very excited this morning. Oh, here we go. Loves a sock, preferably one that you've literally just taken off your feet, which is kind of disgusting, but there we go. Anyway, this is the Peloton. So if I log into my account, I can kind of show you guys a little bit of an overview, just really quickly, because I know this isn't going to be everyone's cup of tea, but... I actually would really recommend something like this. So you basically have all these different trainers. They film these all live. So like up here, this class starts in an hour and 20 minutes. So I could join that live with however many other people. I mean, there's 2000 people that are planning on doing it right now. So I could schedule that in and do that ride. And then, yeah, it means you're kind of just like cycling with others. You feel a little bit more motivated by it, I guess. But there are obviously classes that you can just take at your own pace. The things that I love to do most are these, which are basically just scenic rides. I've done this one, Georgia in the USA. It's literally just like this guy talking you through his life and cycling through possibly the most beautiful forest I've ever seen. I don't want to get copyright yeah. music. <laughs> so you literally just follow him around and then you up your resistance and stuff like that. And it's just a little bit more interesting. I did this one the other day, Big Sur. So yeah, I love doing those. And then they have 
all these different classes. They have cycling, boot camp, strength, cardio, stretching, yoga, meditations. They have like everything you can think of. So you can really just decide on what you want to do. But that is a quick overview. I have just grabbed myself a glass of water and I'm going to get this done because I'm not really in the mood today. But that is when I want to just push through it and just get it over with. Um, just to kind of keep in a bit of a routine and try and stick at this. So yeah, I will speak to you guys when I'm done, when I'm probably looking a little bit more red and flustered. I feel like my skincare has kind of reacted with my face like obviously I just worked out so I went super red because I always go red in the face when I do pretty much any form of workout but it feels really like tight and kind of sore so I'm not sure if I've used something different I don't think I have but yeah excuse the face I have just picked up Bon she is rocking her Christmas jumper um I thought I would just bring her home for the night just to have a little bit of company we're gonna take you for a walk because the sun is shining sometimes it just makes it a little bit easier for mum as well to take the big girls out and just be able to focus on them i wish that i could bring them as well like i wish i could take all of the dogs to my house but bells came over for the first time yesterday when we were dropping her home and you can just tell that she's like where am i do you know what i mean and it's not fair for them like they just get a bit confused they don't feel comfortable um so yeah as much as i seem like i always bring bonnie over she's just easy like she's just a tiny little dog she loves being ours she's so used to it now it feels like home to her so it's just a bit more normal and easier for her um as much as i wish i could have them all over in case anyone ever wondered why i don't take the big girls that is why they're just too old and it's not fair on them anyway i am gonna head home now i'm gonna get myself a shower sort myself out and i actually had a sisters and seekers parcel arrive this morning so I think I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a haul because I actually picked things up in the Black Friday sale. So I got a really good deal on them. Um, so from what I remember, I bought quite a lot. So I thought I'd give you a mini haul when I get home like I usually do. And yeah, I will see you there. Just popping in to tell you guys more about Squarespace in case you haven't heard of them. They are a website building platform and you can basically buy your domains and then you can just customize every single aspect of your website. So if you have something like an online shop or you wanna get into maybe writing a blog, I could not recommend this platform more. They are so customizable to the fonts, to the images you wanna put on your website. You can link everything, you can see analytics. And the best part is they have very kindly given me a discount code. So if you click the link down below in the description and use the code Emily Philpot, that will get you some money off your first domain purchase. Okay, I'm back home and I've picked up my camera. So hopefully the quality is 10 times better right now. Alexa, stop. Sorry if that's out of your Alexas. Also, excuse Bruce, he is very talkative this morning. I did my workout with my dad's, came back, took Bonnie for a walk. It literally started raining the second I walked out the door, so that was good. But it was fine, the sun came out and it was actually really nice in the end. I always underestimate how good like a 10 minute, 15 minute walk makes me feel. I think I was out for like 20 minutes with Bong because I threw the ball around and stuff, but it just makes me feel so much better. Like I literally went on my own. I never usually do things like that, but I quite like just walking in silence like i didn't take my headphones or anything i literally just strolled around and it was lovely so this is your sign to go for a little walk if you haven't today but as you can probably hear we have bruce here with us today he's very intrigued in the tree right now the one that he helped put up oh he's very intrigued what is it <laughs> come sit sit down so this is matt and george's puppy bruce because you are a puppy, aren't you? You're not even one yet. And he is quite possibly the cutest, the sweetest thing you will ever meet in your life. He is a mix between a Labrador and a German Shepherd. And he's literally just like the best thing ever. Georgia has it on Margot as well, who's a sausage dog. Which I think you guys might have seen when I got my hair done in that vlog. But he's so sweet. And he's here because obviously Matt is finishing off the fireplace. Um, which has made really good progress actually. So I can show you guys that later on today. It looks completely different. And it's very nearly done. So we can go through that but yeah this is bruce obviously we've got bonnie down there in her bed i feel like she's literally knackered after her walk she's running around like crazy chasing the ball it really ties her out so she's just chilling bruce is gonna watch me eat my salad which i just really quickly made up i got this from it's okay your dad's here <laughs> you're so cute 
it's so cute. Me and Brad just really quickly popped to M&S and I picked up one of their Caesar salads like ready made and then I just added some chicken, tomato, coleslaw and that's it I think. What is the matter? Why does he literally stop whining when the camera goes on him? Oh no, we're still whining. Anyway, I'm gonna sit and eat my lunch, plan out the rest of my day and I will probably pick you guys up later. If not, I'm gonna definitely vlog my day tomorrow because I'm actually going out for lunch with one of my friends. I'm meeting up with Em to go for some food and also to go fabric shopping, which sounds kind of random, but she's gonna help me very kindly sort out the bed for mine and Brad's room. So I think I've mentioned before, we wanna like build a headboard. You're okay. <laughs> yeah, we wanna build a headboard. Um, so Emma's gonna help me like pick up fabrics and basically help me with what I need to do for that because I have no clue. So that's what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow. So I'll bring you guys along to that to make this vlog a little bit longer. Also, I'm trying to get my two liters of water in. So I've got this massive bottle of Evian that I keep filling up and trying to drink one of those every single day. And I'm noticing the biggest difference in my skin and just the way I feel. Like my energy levels, everything, like drinking water is another really good thing that helps. I am out of the shower, I've literally just washed my hair, done my skincare and I've made myself a coffee because it's still freezing cold and I just wanted something to kind of warm me up a bit. But I was just about to slick my hair back and I thought I would show you guys how I do my slick back bun. This is going to be like a low bun because usually if I'm like going out somewhere and I do my slick back look it will usually be a little bit higher but it's kind of the same concept. It just, I suppose the only difference is I just brush it in a little bit of a different way so hopefully this gives you a better idea of how to do the slick buns and just like a couple of tricks that I done along the way to not damage your hair as much because this is literally like the worst hairstyle you can do just because it puts so much strain on your hair it's really not good but it looks good so i'm gonna teach you guys how i do mine it's probably not the best way i don't know what the best way is this is how i've seen other people do it and it works for me so most of the time when i'm doing this hairstyle i'll be doing it when like my hair is super greasy like there's no saving it dry shampoo won't save the day like i literally need to slip my hair back there's no other option i will use a leave-in conditioner or like a hair mask so the one that I usually use is the Sol de Janeiro one and I love using that, it's just like super thick so it's actually really easy to slick your hair back when you've got hair mask in because it just makes it lay completely flat and obviously when you have your hair slicked back the hair mask is working its magic like you can leave it in for a day or two days, I've been guilty of that like slept in it and then wash it on the next day don't judge me but it's really good for your hair if you want to give it kind of like a deep treatment then that is an option but if I like just now I've literally just washed my hair so I'm gonna either put in this, which is the Bedhead Foxy Curls Contour Cream, but it's kind of like a leave-in conditioner. It feels sort of the same. There is actually a leave-in conditioner that Bedhead do. So I'll try and link that down below, but this kind of works the same. Or my absolute go-to if I'm not using, this is more of a hair mask actually to be fair, but if I'm not using the Sol de Janeiro one, this is literally like my dream pair of products to use in my hair they're just so good together so this is the olaplex number zero and number three you can obviously use both of these on their own but i believe they work really well together i've been told and i can vouch for that i honestly think these products are amazing i just like to put in some some kind of conditioner whether it's um like kids leaving conditioner literally anything just to dampen the hair a little bit to be able to slick it back but also it just stops it from getting as damaged and especially if you are then going to hairspray it down obviously if you want to get rid of flyaways and stuff then the hairspray is actually sitting on top of the hair mask rather than your actual hair i don't know how much this is all true obviously i'm not a hairdresser but that's my logic behind it and it seems to work for me so yeah they're just a couple of products that i would highly highly recommend i think i'm just going to use a tiny bit of this for today because like i say i have i've literally just washed my hair so i don't want to put too much product in it brushes i use my main one is this sorry about the hair in it i'm keeping it real obviously i use this so it has hair in it but this is the tangle teaser i think it's one of their wet brushes so i mainly use that to kind of get all my hair into where i want it to be basically and then to actually smooth it down i'll either use my t3 
teasing brush which i don't actually know where it is i literally just got one off amazon so i'll link that or just anything with really really soft bristles this is more of like i wouldn't even really know how to describe it but just something with a lot more bristles but still super soft so as you can see this one has like so many more bristles than obviously the tangle teaser so this just helps to really smooth it when it actually is in place so let me grab my hairbands always start with your hairbands on your wrist because there is nothing worse than having a ponytail in place and then forgetting to put the hairband on your wrist so i start off with my tangle teaser brush i am going to look in this mirror over here so i can see what i'm doing um but hopefully you guys can see from the camera as well i've also just lied i'm going to start with this <laughs> which obviously whatever you guys have or whatever products you kind of prefer you just want some kind of leave-in conditioner some kind of like hair protectant even just anything really so i'm just gonna pop this literally just through the tops of my hair and a little bit towards the ends this is actually like a contour cream so it's kind of it kind of firms the hair in place which is quite good obviously for a slick back bun because it holds it all in place a little bit better so once i put the product in i'm gonna start slicking my hair back and like i say this is for more of like a low slick back bun so hopefully you guys can see but i'm basically brushing down and then round and back does that make sense? So I'm going like from the top here, straight down, and then start bringing the brush around and then to the back of my head. So that's what I do kind of along the sides. And then as I go around, I just start angling it a little bit more just straight down. So as I'm getting to the back here, I'm literally brushing my hair like straight backwards. I literally just brush this bit down. And then as you get to the front here, go down and then round. All of my hair is now back and in a ponytail. So I'm gonna grab this brush and just literally go over what I've just done and just smooth it out. So now that's smooth, I'm gonna take two of my hairbands and tie the ponytail, literally just like that. And then take another hairband. And then I think this is where maybe some people not go wrong, but don't know how to do this bit, but it is really, really simple. Like I just kept practicing at hairstyles like this. And then you find what kind of works for you and like the easiest way to do it for your hair. But I literally take the ponytail like this, start twisting it. And as I'm twisting it, I wrap it around itself keep twisting keep twisting and that is it literally a bun like that and then grab my other hairband and secure it that is it that is as easy as it is <laughs> and then obviously if you have these little bits here that kind of stick out you can sort of pull them around the front it just depends how you prefer to style it you can tuck them in obviously with like bobby pins or something but i like to have a little bit sticking out like this um so yeah that is that is literally it it's very simple but like i say you just kind of have to keep practicing find what works for you i would probably hairspray this if i was actually going anywhere but i'm not i'm obviously just home today but if i was going to hairspray it this is the one that i would use again this is bedhead this is so good it smells incredible but it's also just really strong holding like for slick back buns especially it literally makes your hair like rock solid but it brushes out super easily as well um, so it's not too damaging like i say next time i go out like if i'm getting ready or something i will show you guys how i do the higher slick back bun it is literally the same but i just kind of drag my hair up and back so i will talk you through that if you guys want to see a little tutorial let me know in the comments if that's going to be helpful but i am going to sit here now and plan my next few videos i'm going to start editing this vlog so i'm just like on top of everything sit and drink my coffee try and warm up honestly i can't deal with how cold this house is right now but that's another problem for the list of things that we need to sort and i'm sure in a sec i will sit down and show you guys the sisters and seekers order that i did recently because it's all behind me currently also while i'm here i'm going to pop on my revital lash this has saved my eyelashes it's literally like brought them back to life i swear to god this is like the best thing ever i know it's a little bit pricey i've mentioned this in my favorites video yeah it's over 100 pounds and i know that seems a little bit scary but if you want to invest in something that just is gonna work then i would recommend this i think rapid lash is the other one that i mentioned to you guys because i know it's a little bit cheaper and i think to be honest it probably works around about the same but i just know and trust this now my skin keeps reacting I don't know what it's only my forehead though so i don't know what i've put on one that's any different but two that's not reacting to the rest of my face like why is it just my forehead who knows right i'm gonna stop rambling and i will speak to you guys a little bit later <laughs> Seekers haul. I 
can't remember how much I ordered, but it's turned up in a box, so clearly quite a lot. I think I also did three, three separate orders, which seems a little bit excessive, but they just kept like putting things on their Instagram, and I kept seeing them, and I was like, now I want that, so I just kept ordering. <laughs> But I want to say they might still have a discount code. I think I mentioned that earlier. Hopefully they do. If they do, I'll try and hunt for it and I'll leave something linked down below in the description. But right now I need to find something to actually open this with. Okay, we are in. Oh my god, I forgot. I forgot about half the stuff I ordered. I'm actually really excited about this. So if you don't know, Sisters and Seekers are... I believe they're kind of like kind of an Instagram brand they started out on Instagram that's where I found them and they are literally two sisters that own the brand and they just they design everything in-house all of their designs are incredible by the way I'm, I'm not being asked to say any of this I obviously bought all of this stuff myself you guys know me I'm a little bit of an addict when it comes to online shopping like I literally I don't know I just really like it <laughs> It needs to stop, but I love supporting brands like this because it's technically still a small business. Like I say, they are just two girls that own the brand itself. They are really, really big now. Like, so many people talk about them. I see their stuff everywhere. This is the first set that I picked up, which is kind of a rogue colour for me. But I saw this tracksuit and I just loved the colour of it. Like, I just thought it was such a nice shade of green. I know it's really quite bright and kind of out there, but I thought as a tracksuit, you can definitely get away with things like this. Just like a pop of colour with some white trainers, a cute little bag. I know loads of people have been wearing this shade of colour at the moment. I've seen Olivia Neal in this, she always looks amazing. And now I'm a little bit more blonde, I feel like I might be able to put it off a bit better. Not that this doesn't look great on brunettes as well, it'll look great on anyone. But I just really like how this green shade looks with blonde hair. So yeah, that is the first set. I believe this is a zip up hoodie and then these are just some joggers. The quality by the way, I'm not going to say it for every item, but just to warn you, the quality is incredible. Like 10 out of 10, can't fault it in any way. So then I actually picked up some little pyjamas. These are actually so cute. Let me get these out to show you guys. So these are the shorts. How sweet are they? I thought they'd be perfect, not going to lie, for summer, which I know is a little bit of a reach at the moment but even for winter I guess if you chuck like a big dressing gown over the top you'd be fine but these are very much like a thin linen material like they feel really nice and lightweight and then this is the top by the way all of these little packaging things have quotes on them so this says this your reminder to drink some water and then this one says be the person your dog thinks you are I just love these they make me smile every time so then this is the shirt that comes with the shorts you can buy these separately so if you just wanted the shirt like for example i got this in an xl because i thought if i wanted to wear it as like a night dress just on its own or just like a night shirt then i can as well um but again obviously same materials and color it's so gorgeous okay some more pajamas <laughs> clearly i couldn't help myself this is kind of like a waffled set so again it's like shorts and a little t-shirt this time these are the shorts. I did go for these in, I think, a large. Yeah, I got these in a large because I have some of their sleep shorts from another set that I own. And they're just really quite small. They are, like, tight-fitting, so I think they're meant to fit like that. But I just wanted these to be a bit more loose. So I did go for a large in those. And then this is the little t-shirt that goes through with it. Obviously the same waffle material again, but this is just like a super oversized box of fit tee. I got this in a large, oh I got this in an extra actually. Ow. I got this in an extra large and yeah, very plain and simple, but I don't really own pyjamas, so I've stocked up there. By the way, I got the tracksuit, I got the joggers in a 12, and then I got the zip up hoodie in think uh 12 i want to say in a large so zip up pretty large joggers 12 oh i love this t-shirt so i got this t-shirt in an xl again this is just like super oversized and boxy i love all of their graphic tees i have the one that has i think it's dobermans on the front and i just love it it's a little bit random but i think it looks really cute literally just paired with baggy jeans but i went for this because it's really quite simple it's just like a black oversized boxy tee which i surprisingly don't own but it says grow rich on the front and then it has this graphic on the back which i thought was really cool i think it looks really nice styled with like um leather trousers and big chunky boots i've seen so many people style this in multiple different ways it is a basic but an essential and then this is kind of boring but i did pick up the 
jogger short versions of my favourite joggers that they do, which are currently out of stock, but I'm hoping they might restock them because they're just like the best pair of grey joggers I've ever had. Um, I've repurchased them, I think, three times now. So I thought I'd pick up the shorts version. I got these in a 14 because they have a drawstring waist so you can make them fit you however you want. And I wanted them to be a little bit more boxy, especially for the summer as well. But yeah, these are super cute, just so thick, and the waistband is like perfect on them. Okay, I'm really excited about this item. So this is one of their blazers, and I think I'm actually just going to insert a picture here for you guys to see this on, because I'm not going to do it justice by just holding it up. But I got this in a size, I got this in a large, and I thought that the little details on this, like the kind of tassels that hang off, well not tassels, but these little details that you'll see in the picture, I just thought they made it look so interesting, so unique. Like, you're never going to find this blazer anywhere else. It was also giving me very Jacquemus vibes. So I got this because I thought it was a fraction of the price of the one that I liked in the designer style. But, yeah, I'm intrigued to style it. I think I would style it with, like, a nude bodysuit and cycling shorts underneath. And then this on top with some black boots. That's what I'm thinking. I'm also headed to London this weekend, so I think I might take this with me and try and create an outfit but i just thought that was so gorgeous and it was like 60 pounds or something it wasn't crazy expensive and then i just picked up this which is kind of random but i just needed a new travel makeup bag so i just grabbed this from their sales section it's literally just like a toweling material tiny little wash bag very plain and simple but i think it was like 10 pounds at the time so yeah that's the final thing that i picked up i did grab a hoodie and I want to say a couple of other bits like I say I did way too many orders so they must be on their way still um but I will show you those when they arrive in a separate vlog I'm sure like I say if you guys haven't checked them out before I feel like I've recommended them really quite a few times now but I just I love them like, I love the brand so so much so yeah that is everything that I picked up this time around I'm just gonna shove it all back in the box because I will take that upstairs later and organize it all but i feel like i might round off this section of the vlog here and I'll probably pick you guys up in the morning when i'm getting ready to start my day like i said i'm going out for lunch and sorting out the whole bed situation upstairs um so i'll bring you along top of that and speak to you then hey guys i am literally just editing this vlog don't mind bonnie she's been sleeping on my desk here but i've literally just got to the end of editing this vlog that you guys are currently watching and i feel like one it's very dark i feel like it's got quite long so i think i'm gonna round it off here i have also just straightened my hair well i say straightened i literally just blow dried it straight with my air wrap and it feels really nice and healthy it feels really soft um that was bonnie's sigh but yeah i thought i would round this video off here because i know it's got a little bit long already and then i thought i could make tomorrow's vlog like a whole separate day and that video will be coming out very very soon if it's not the next video it'll be the one after i want to do like a gift guide video for you guys very soon because i know that everyone's going to be wanting to sort their christmas shopping asap i haven't even started don't know about you guys but i'm not an organized queen so I've not even thought about it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's Vlogmas. Thank you so much for watching and sticking around for these videos. I'm so excited to be posting super regularly. I feel really like on the same page with you guys, if that makes sense. Like it makes me feel super connected with you because I literally post a video and go straight to the comments and just start replying to you. I see your messages on Instagram. Like I literally love it so much. So yeah, thank you so much if you take the time to like a video, subscribe, leave a comment especially or message me over on Instagram. Like I say, it generally... It genuinely means so much and I don't think you guys realise how much it motivates people. I think a lot of people do really appreciate like messages and comments, everything like that. I think it's just the easiest way that we can sort of keep in touch with you guys and put faces to names, which is always a really nice thing. Anyway, I will leave you guys to it. I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening or your day, whatever you're up to. And hopefully I'll speak to you very soon in my next vlogmas. Bye guys.